Many years ago, I took our only son on his first camping fishing trip. He was just a boy. The canyon was steep and the descent was difficult, but the fishing was good. Every time I hooked a fish, I would give the pole to the eager boy, and with shouts of joy, he would reel in a beautiful trout. In the shadows and coolness of the late afternoon, we began our climb back up to the rim high above us. He scrambled rapidly up the mountain ahead of me with a challenging, Come on, Dad, I'll bet I can beat you to the top. The challenge was heard, but wisely ignored. <laughs> His small frame seemed literally to fly over, under, and around every obstacle. And when every step that I took seemed ridiculously like my last, he had reached the top and stood cheering me on. After supper, we knelt in prayer. His small voice rose sweetly heavenward in benediction to our day. Then we climbed into our large double sleeping bag, and after a bit of pushing and pulling, I felt his little body snuggle and settle tightly against mine for warmth and security against the night. As I looked at my son beside me, suddenly I felt a surge of love pass through my body with such force that it pushed tears to my eyes. And at that precise moment, he put his little arms around me and said, Dad, yes, son, are you awake? Yes, my son, I am awake. Dad, I love you a million trillion times. And immediately he was asleep. But I was awake far into the night expressing my great thanks for such wonderful blessings clothed with a little boy's body. Now my son is a man with a son of his own. Once in a while, the three of us go fishing. I look at my little red-headed grandson beside his father, and I see in my mind's eye the image of that wonderful moment long ago. The question so innocently asked, Dad, are you awake, still rings in my heart. To every father, I pose the same penetrating question. Dad, are you awake? Do your sons ever wonder if you are asleep when it comes to the things that are most important to them? I would suggest that there are several areas that would indicate whether we are awake or asleep in the eyes of our sons. Every father in the church should function as the patriarch of his home. He should take the lead in spiritually guiding the family. He ought not to delegate nor abrogate his responsibilities to the mother. He should call for family prayer, family home evening, scripture reading, and occasional father interviews. He is the protector, the defender, and the kindly source of discipline. It is the father who should lead, unify, and solidify the family unit by accepting the priesthood of God and responding to the calls and privileges associated with priesthood authority. His relationship with God and His Son, Jesus Christ, is one of the beacons which will lead His sons and daughters through the stormy shoals of life. If Dad is a true disciple of Jesus Christ, then the sons will follow Him as the night, the day. Dad, are you awake?
The Spirit of the Lord cannot be expected to bless our lives if we persist in being angry, callous, and cruel to our mates. We cannot expect our sons to develop respect and gentleness toward their mothers if we do not preside the proper example. President David O. McKay said, the most important thing a father can do for his children is to love their mother. Dad, are you awake? When I was a little boy, my widowed mother gave me the most severe discipline possible. She said with tears in her eyes, My son, I am so disappointed in you. The pain in my heart was more than I could bear. A thousand lashes could not have cut me so deeply. I knew that such a rebuke could only have been made to me out of her pure love. For if there was one thing that I was certain of, it was that my mother loved me. I resolved never again to be subject to the disappointment and the broken heart of an angel mother. I believe that I have succeeded in that re resolve. When it comes to discipline, Dad, are you awake? Then we will rejoice in the fact that they are ours forever. They will say, Dad, are you awake? And we will respond, Yes, my son, I am awake. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.